These were Becker's guys. Him and Victor had a private airport to go with their private army and their private jet. and guns. I might have known you'd turn up. Sorry. You heading home? Oh, I, I am here to pick up my daughter, but I imagine she's stuck on the plane. Uh, what are you up to? I don't know. Trying to make a difference. Giving back. Yeah, well, that's what you call it. Take care. Yeah. Judgment with a smile. You can't beat it. The doors lead in the direction of the main terminal. The customer restroom. I could get through to the departure gates up ahead. There were Ufe all over the airport and civilians were being moved out. Looking at it one way, shutting down the airport for their escape was a weird sort of compliment, but one I didn't need. opened at the other end of the departure lounge.
Maybe they were in the next terminal. I keep looking until Victor sent me a postcard from Miami. down the escalators. It didn't look like there'd be any trams leaving until the power was on. It worked. The trams were running again. Maybe they'd take me to my gate. Maybe they'd bring more guys wanting to whack me. Maybe both. Felt like I might be able to recharge for a second. At least until we pulled into the station and met more murderous assholes. Son of a bitch! It didn't work out like that. Of course, there'd be a tram full of goons trying to derail me.
Everyone wanted a ticket for the Max Payne Express. was slowing down, and I'd only just gotten on board. I had to salvage what I could and see what was waiting for me. This was my stop. It had taken me right into the heart of it. Becker's gimps were everywhere, so he and Bronco must be close. The smart move would have been sticking with De Silva and going straight to the hangar, but when was I ever about smart moves? I'm a dumb move guy. Hey Max, we'll drive onto the runway. No thanks, let me walk in the main entrance. I'll put a big shit-eating grin on my face and let these assholes take turns trying to kill me. That's my style, and it's too late in the day to hope for change. Boy, were they throwing numbers at this problem. But then, I'd chosen to be here. I wanted this. Was it redemption? Not really. It was pathetic desperation, and not much else. The further in I got, the more guys I saw. Becker wasn't running a police force. He was running an army. These guys were better trained and better equipped than anyone I'd seen out here. And I'd seen some mean sons of bitches. The mission was screaming suicide, but I didn't give a damn. At least I'd die being a pain in the ass. <coughs> there the bastards were, sneaking off in their rich kid's toy. <laughs> I ain't got nowhere else to go, Becker! Mr. Payne, I believe you had something to say to me! Mate ele! Mate ele agora! Não! Não! Não!
This was it. It was almost over. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death, and I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. One card left to play. Just get me close. Whoa. Look, there's a whole team of them. Look out! Right. Come on! Don't give up! Come on! Got a flight to catch. It's not going to take off without. Enjoy a trial and a spell in prison. Let him suffer. Trust me. <laughs> you know I walk. You'll walk with a lip. Boy, it's dark in some places, but it's sunny everywhere else. Over to Marisol with the weather. 